Hey YouTube, this is ASASAGHHH. At today's video is of course going to be a reptile video. Um, and this is going to be a cleaning on how to clean a leopard gecko's cage. There are many uh, videos like this on YouTube, but this one is really the basic, but it cleans up your tank pretty well. I've used this method since I had my leopard geckos, which has been maybe two years so far. Um, and this has worked for me, nothing's happened to them. I, the main chemical I use is mostly vinegar and water put together, and that's about it. Vinegar is safe for animals if they decide to lick the side of the tank when it's dry, it's not going to kill them. Unlike bleach, where you don't want to use or detergent, you don't want to use any of that. Soap is, you can want to use that, but I just prefer to use, uh, well I use soap sometimes, like in the beginning, if it's really like, if there's poop underneath the, the paper towels. I, I use uh, warm water and put soap in it and scrub it off and then after I use vinegar and water and the reason why I use vinegar and water is because it will clean up your windows your windows, and it won't leave water streaks like how mostly some water does and I use it for my home uh, my home uh, windows and I use it for my tanks I really don't use that for that because that really doesn't matter that's just a fish tank but I do use it on my uh, frogs or my uh, tarantulas and yeah guys so the first thing is of course is to get your uh, leopard geckos out and after we're gonna have to take out my homemade rock kite I made and my uh, my log hideaway and take out my uh, water dish it does look dirty which it kinda is so I'm gonna clean that out too and I'll show you guys step by step but first off, I have to get my leopard geckos out, and which you guys really don't need to see that, and it's gonna and it's kind of gonna be hard for me to like show you guys how to get your leopard geckos out. I think you guys already know how to handle them and stuff. So just came out of the cage. I made a homemade shoe box, which I'll take out right now, and I made this a while back. And we just had stuff laying around my house, and we had a uh, leftover window screen. So I just made me like a frame to go over like a Rubbermaid container, like a shoe box. And put the screen on top so I could put, and this used to be my, so I could put like uh, animals in there and they could live in there for like a, like not a full, like a permanent enclosure but like for part time. And so it works perfectly. This has lasted me for a while. And yeah, guys, this is something cheap. Just get a few wooden dowels or just wooden sticks, not really sticks, but you know what I mean. And get window screen and I just put it all over and just stapled it with the uh, stapler or staple gun I just put them in here and, they're, and they'll do fine um, these are just eight cartons I've had from getting my crickets so I just save those up in case if I have to get a lot of crickets I can have uh, eight cartons for them to hide and stuff so uh, let's get into uh, how to clean a leopard gecko tank alright as you can see um, I just got the leopard geckos out so there's a lot of poop I haven't cleaned this for like two weeks I know that's bad but there wasn't like the first week I had it or I redid this, whatever, there wasn't any poop in here. There's like barely anything. And now it's been kind of dirty. So I've been wanting to do this, but I want to make a full on uh, how to clean a leopard gecko tank. Just help people out because this is my way. And I don't know. I think my way is pretty. I think my way is a lot better than some people's on YouTube. They just give you the basic. Every video is the same. And that's why I'm, I'm not going to try to. I'm, this, that's why I'm going to try to uh, make this video different from everyone's. So now, since I got them out, they're in this little my little uh, setup there's a sixty time shedding it's party time and now we are gonna have to get the uh, homemade rock hide out and the log and the uh, bowl so let me do that right now okay so that's done so we got all this stuff on the side I usually clean the rock if I have to and that's if there's poop on the side or anything there isn't really there's only that little piece right there which I'll just break off whatever try and that's about it I do wash it if I have to but the reason why I really don't like to wash it is because I just used hot glue to to glue these together. I didn't really use silicone, so like uh, so so it's not waterproof or that or anything like a fish tank. But this is gonna be washed, and I'll just show you basically. Ew, ew. Um, but anyway, um, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna show you a little way how I do it. I just get like warm water, put it in here. Even though it's like metal, I get like a scrubber. I have my own leopard gecko scrubber. I don't use a sponge for every. Or I don't share a sponge with with every animal, just in case of if an animal's sick, I don't want my other animals to get sick, and that would be really bad. But I just get my sponge and scrub it all up, and it gets super clean. Um, that poop just got in there right now when uh, when I took out 
the the rock right there. It got picked up and put it in. So don't think I just let that happen. Um, then after this, I will show you what we have to do next. All right, I am back. I just cleaned this out. As you can see, it got uh, really super clean. There's only that little orange stuff, and that's just like a little bit of rust. That would not do anything to my leopard gecko. I know that for sure. I searched it up. I did all my research, so I don't think I don't know anything. I've been doing these reptile videos for a, a pretty a long while. Like I started back in 2008, so I know what I'm doing. Um, from there and since now, I've learned so much more about animals. You never stop learning something every day, so I know that's pretty safe. Or uh, not 100% safe, not pretty. Next is just to take out the screen, the the top, and take this uh, plant out. I really don't have to wash this plant ever just because they don't poop on it or anything it's just decor uh... next okay as i was saying you take the top off and i really don't clean the uh... Um, the decor just because uh... i really don't have to the leopard because don't poop on it but anyway guys um... next is just to take out all this uh... all this uh... toilet it's not really toilet paper it's uh... whatchamacallit uh, paper, paper towel rolls just take those out it doesn't matter if you get poop still on the tank um, it's gonna, it's gonna be good. Let me just set this down real quick and uh, put throw this away. Um, and then after what I usually do is I just get a sh my shot vac and I just clean out all the poop or whatever around there. You can use a a a, a vacuum if that has a side hose on the side or anything. Uh, you can use really anything or you could just dump it out like that. Um, and the next what you're gonna have to do is put this in like more water. And get all the poop off left over all and put soap and scrub it down. And then after, what I usually do is I get water and vinegar, combine it together, and clean up the uh, the tank, glass, whatever. So I'll do that right now. And I'll show you guys how I clean the glass, and then we'll go off from there. Alright, I'm back. Um, I cleaned this all out. I put in warm water in my tub and just let it sit for five minutes. And, uh... And then I just cut my hand and then scrubbed off the rest of the poop, which was not even like kicked on. It was just a little bit. I just it was kind of like soggy. Not to go see guys out or anything. But anyway, um, now it's just time to uh, get the vinegar and water and spray it down. So it looks pretty clean. If you ask me, what you really don't see though, I can't really see on camera. But there are streaks up in the uh, glass. You really can't see it on camera just because the camera's clear. But in real life. You're gonna see like some streaks and stuff on your uh, tank. So instead of doing it all fast and whatever, you want to take good care of your animals and you want their enclosure to look super nice all the time. So what I use is water and vinegar combined. I got it in, like a little squirt bottle, and that some I don't know how that does it, but that takes out the streak. Super like it takes out the streak in any of the glass and it cleans it. So I use that, and that's been working for me. Um, I've never had any issues with it. Um, they're never safe for the animals just because when it dries up, uh, if they lick it, it's not going to do anything to them. It's not, like, bad for the body or anything. Unless they drink, like, a whole gallon of it, then, yeah, that's pretty bad. But, anyway, so let me grab the, uh, the, the script bottle with the vinegar and water, and let me show you how I do So it. I got the, uh, the water bottle. Um, this is just a regular water bottle. You can get it from uh, Home Depot and Walmart. Um, all it has in it is water and vinegar put together, and, uh, but uh, if, if you want to save some money, I just go to the dollar store and get one of these cheap, uh, water bottles, this just holds my water so I can spray it on my isopods, frog, or anything else. Um, so, from there, I'm, I get my paper towel rolls, these is used for the enclosure, uh, substrate kind of thing, it's easy to clean up, and all that good stuff, so, I'm not afraid to use this whole up. This whole entire thing up in one use, it's only a dollar. It's not big of a deal. Um, but no one's going to really use that up all the way. So you just take uh, two of these that come off. So let me put you guys right here. So you guys can see. The camera might die on you guys, so hopefully it doesn't. I think she's just about to reach it now. You just take some off. And just get two of these. Put these now together. And make like a little patch on this. Like so, like so, like so. So it's like thick, but it can absorb more uh, vinegar. So now what I usually do is just get some of it, spray it on. Make sure I'm gonna get a shot of this. Just get the water bottle. 
get this and just you know what man this smells like vinegar get some now this is damp with it on now you guys can't really see that I just get it and just clean it up it does smell so I recommend you guys doing this outside but it's my room um I'll just turn on my fan later on and just get all the smell out. It's not like super smelly. It does smell a little bit. Um, and yeah, guys. So we just do that. And I usually just get an another dry paper towel roll or paper towel, not paper towel roll, and just dry off all the excess. And it works. You guys, you guys are just gonna do this a couple of times. Even get on the inside. So I do. And uh, it takes out all the water marks. So it, so it gets super clean. If you guys watched my a fire belly toad one I did this to it and uh, and it worked for me and you can even see the before and after picture and that was before I had calcium stains all up on the uh, the tank and all that ugly stuff so I uh, so I used it and then after it was perfectly clear I did try to use water with it that just leaves streaks too like I said and I don't like streaks on my animals enclosures just because it's just not what I do. Now that looks super clean. Uh, don't mind the dust or anything. I'm gonna clean this up after my uh, my, my shelving. I just use Speak Span uh, antibacterial, so it takes out all the bacteria and stuff living on the surface. That's good. So now just get these and just throw these away. But now we get the paper towel rolls, and I usually just get maybe six of them. Just take them apart and just lay them down. So let me do that and show you guys after. Okay, so I'm done. Um, you guys really didn't have to see me put down the the paper towels or put them in the stuff. It's pretty easy. Just put them in and put the little brick in. They like it. They're just roaming around. Let me move this to the side so this guy doesn't get to the side. Um, that's about it. Um, all I really have to do now is put the top on, put the crickets in, put the water in. But I don't use spring water because I, it's just a gallon for 75 cents. That's not really what I do. <laughs> It's all about saving for me. I like to save. I'm not so cheap. I will spend money if I really have to spend money. Um, anything from animals. But I use Repti Safe. That's bad. This camera doesn't have focus. But it's just a water conditioner for all species like uh, uh, snakes, lizards, turtles, tortoises, amphibians, hermit crabs, and tarantulas. But I don't recommend this for tarantulas because tarantulas shouldn't have that much calcium. Um, and I just get this and stick two drops I just use and this lasts me maybe for three years already. Two drops is really, really little. Don't be afraid to put in more. It's not going to do anything. I just do this because I really don't dust it cricket. So this adds calcium to the water. It also dechlorinates it. I do use it on my frog uh, bowl. And my, uh, my, you can't see it, but the iguana bowl. And yeah, that's about it, guys. So let me do all that. And I'll just give you guys the final... Uh, picture majigger kind of thing not not really a picture but the final scene and yeah guys so that's really about it so uh let me do this and i will let you guys know okay youtube i'm back um i clean this off which we can spin it looks perfect no dust anywhere and all right if, if you see these white marks or whatever i usually use i usually see super glue up here this is my super glue station and that's why the, there's like some leftover like gunk and stuff but that's about it. Um, I put crickets in there. I was gonna, I was gonna feed them before and not make a video today, but I didn't want the crickets to be in there because there was still some poop, and if they eat the poop, then, then uh, they might get parasites or something, and I don't want that to happen to my leopard geckos. So yeah, I did that. Um, and yeah, guys, um, I, I have a lot of videos I made. Um, I put, I probably upload them all before I uh, put this one up, but I have like three videos. Four videos because uh, I'm have to make one tonight, so look on look out for that. Um, I just have been so busy with so much stuff, and it's so hard for me to actually sit down and take time and edit everything. And yeah, guys, so look forward to that. Um, and yeah, guys, so check out my videos. Uh, subscribe. Uh, refer me to someone if someone likes uh, reptile reptiles or leopard geckos or fish. Um, I won't be making a uh, a uh, fish pond video because I've got my own myself a pond now. It's not really a pond; it's like a ghetto kind of pond. Um, but it works, so it's it's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, guys, so look for pond videos. Maybe, maybe soon I'll actually get like a real real pond. This little pond I have is just little. It's not like huge or anything, but it is. An, but it 
calms, it, it kind of calms me down, and and I think it's nice. So refer me to anyone if you guys can. Uh, comment down below if you guys need any questions or anything. Um, subscribe if you subscribe. Uh, make sure you get emails from, my, from whenever I post videos. Um, I don't post videos like every day or anything or every week. I do it once. I do it like once. I maybe, I maybe do five videos a month. I try to do. Sometimes I really don't do that. So I'm not like a guy who sends videos 24/7. So you guys won't get annoyed. But yeah, guys. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.